myself out. In light of the high quality remakes of Resident Evil 2 and 3 released in 2019 and 2020, it felt like a safe bet that Capcom would do an equally admirable job of rebuilding Resident Evil 4. Even so, when I hit the start button on this 2023 remake of the legendary 2005 action horror game, I wasn't prepared for how forcefully it would knock my knees out from under me and suplex me headfirst into 16 hours of sustained tension and exhilaration. Here we go. This fully revitalized campaign dramatically one-ups the original in almost every conceivable way. Its Spanish countryside setting is substantially more sinister, its pacing has been tightened, and its controls have been modernized in order to allow its signature shooting mechanics to really shine. I've been waiting 18 years for a game to thrill me in the same way as Resident Evil 4. As it turns out, this whole time I've just been waiting for another Resident Evil 4. Are you gonna be kidding me? The original Resident Evil 4 is a landmark installment in Capcom's seminal survival horror series that, for many, would need no introduction. However, considering it came out back when we assumed that Episode 3 would be the last Star Wars film, and iPhones didn't even exist yet, I should probably give it some context. At the time, it was a big deal for Resident Evil to switch from the series' traditional fixed camera perspectives to a then radical over-the-shoulder viewpoint that brought us uncomfortably close to the gore and put the emphasis on reflexes and precision targeting. And as a result, Resident Evil 4 was an action horror epic without peer. Its influence has subsequently been felt in countless other third-person classics like Gears of War, Dead Space and The Last of Us, but it hasn't aged all that well. In preparation for this review, I returned to the original game for the first time in years and was shocked at how badly this remake was needed. The movement of main star Leon Kennedy felt ridiculously restricted. He struggles to get around as though he's wearing an old pair of skinny jeans that haven't fit him since his police academy days and is immobilized any time he gets his gun out. By modern standards, it's absurd and would absolutely put off a lot of newcomers before they could begin to understand why this game is so highly regarded. Thankfully, those days are gone. Not unlike the recent Metroid Prime Remastered, this Resident Evil 4 remake plays like a 2023 game. Luxuries like simultaneous twin-stick movement and targeting mean that you can cautiously back away while still keeping your gun trained on the advancing hordes or sidestep out of the way of an incoming crossbow bolt without having to remove your eye from the scope of your rifle. This newfound freedom of movement makes you better equipped to really make the most of the immensely satisfying area-specific damage effects. Whether you're blowing kneecaps out to expose an enemy to a melee finisher or simply reveling in some of the grisliest headshots in the history of video game shotguns. Leon's combat knife can also be used to parry enemy attacks or bring a swift finish to staggered foes, or to take enemies out silently after he's crept up on them with his new ability to crouch. Ah, must be those looser fitting jeans. Crucially though, this overhauled control setup makes combat more fluid without compromising any of the challenge. The added benefits of the knife are balanced by the fact it takes damage with each use, so you can only rely on it sparingly. Otherwise it will break like a tiny master sword and must be repaired at a merchant before you can resume stabbing. Meanwhile, enemies move in dangerously erratic ways and have a tendency to quickly overwhelm in numbers so you still have to make snap decisions when it comes to prioritizing targets. Resident Evil 4 may well give you a more functional toolset to aid Leon's survival, but you still need to keep your wits and reflexes sharp. Because losing your head amidst a crowd crawling with a murderous mind-controlling parasite can swiftly result in Leon literally losing his. I also love how the tactile nature of almost every element in your surroundings can be used as a tactical advantage. Whether you're baiting the terrifying Dr. Salvador into clumsily carving his chainsaw through a crowd of his own minions, or setting fire to a cow so that it rages out of control and scorches everyone in its path. When ammunition is always at a premium, it's both practical and ridiculously entertaining to let a flaming hunk of hamburger do your dirty work. Many of you under 30 may have no clue what Resident Evil 4 is even about but it's perhaps best described as riding a roller coaster that's careening off the rails to crash through a row of spectacular haunted houses. What starts as a fairly straightforward rescue mission 
with Leon sent into a small Spanish village in search for the US president's missing daughter Ashley, soon hurdles into a heart-stopping series of battles against towering trolls, desperate defenses against crazed hordes in boarded up cabins, outrageous assaults on a heavily fortified castle, explosive minecart chases, and countless run-ins with some truly twisted freaks infected with the mutating Las Plagas parasite. All of which look consistently incredible reimagined on Capcom's RE engine. The original RE4's famously flabby final third has been tightened up considerably, and it all builds towards an improved and genuinely imposing final boss fight that took all of my skill and ammo reserves to topple. Of equal importance to its renovated environments and enemies is the anxiety-inducing audio design. Whether it's the manic chanting of its parasite-riddled peasant farmers, or the throaty rumble of a chainsaw motor idling in the distance, just listening to it all routinely had me inching towards the edge of my seat in anticipation for each enemy encounter. So when the carnage kicked off and the tension spiked, I had hardly any couch left to cling to. No food for you! At every step of the journey, there are enhancements both big and small. The original's gimmicky, quick-time event heavy knife battle against Major Krauser has been transformed into a gripping blend of parries and counter-attacks. Too slow! While the frustration of escorting Ashley through certain sections has been significantly reduced by ditching her health bar, so you don't need to waste valuable green herbs on healing her. You hurt? Uh, no, I'm okay. Elsewhere, there have been considerable structural changes that make the environment feel more cohesive. For instance, in the original game, the lake area primarily served as the backdrop to a boss fight. But now you can fully explore the lake and its surroundings by boat, docking at various inlets to scour cabins and caves for additional puzzles, some kind of shrine, valuable treasures, and hidden horrors lying in wait. When you need to take a breather, the mysterious merchant returns to keep Leon topped up with a suite of dangerous devices like a quaint form of Q-Branch. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Along with new recipes that allow you to craft the exact ammo types you want when out in the world, rather than having to rely on randomized drops. He also pays the bounties on the optional side quests that have been added throughout the campaign, which prove to be fun little diversions away from the story's murderous main path. These bounties are paid in gemstones which can be traded for unique items and upgrades, so although I was initially sad to see the iconic red dot sight removed from Leon's starting pistol, it only took me a few short quests to be able to buy one and fit it myself. As you wished. The merchant also gives you access to the new bolt thrower weapon during your first encounter, and its reusable bolts come in handy in the story's early hours when you're still finding your feet. Yet despite his generous prices and fabulous wares, I couldn't help but feel a little short-changed after each transaction, since his re-recorded dialogue isn't delivered with quite the same kind of goofy charm as that of the grizzled original. What are you buying? However, in the scheme of things, it says a lot for the overall quality of this remake, when the only minor black mark I can give it is for its slightly blander black market dealer. And if this is your first time playing, it likely won't bother you in the slightest. Whether you're a fan of the original or a newcomer with a hankering for some action-heavy horror of the highest quality, Resident Evil 4 is like a parasite-riddled Spaniard. A total no-brainer. Its combat is friction-free but no less stress-inducing thanks to its ferocious cast of creatures, its story rapidly shuttles through a series of action scenes that are diverse in structure but uniformly unwavering in intensity, and its world is rich in detail and full of fun and often snarling surprises. Its improvements over the original are too numerous to list, from simple quality of life changes to completely overhauled boss fight mechanics, and with the exception of the disappointingly diminished personality of the merchant, the team at Capcom has barely put a foot wrong. So what are you buying? Only the most relentlessly exciting Resident Evil adventure of all time that's been rebuilt, refined, and realized to the full limits of its enormous potential. A wise choice, mate. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> For more IGN reviews, check out our verdicts on Bayonetta Origins and Dead Cells Return to Castlevania. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Where's everyone going? Bingo?